People you know, think I just got out of jail and was like, just because I got shot on the East Coast, I'm like, fuck the East Coast. Yeah, no. Man. Half the rappers from the East Coast was there when I got shot. Nobody knew a thing. That's just like you coming to the hood and the police ask them what happened. Mm -hmm. And everybody's like, I don't know. You know they lying. Mm -hmm. And all I was doing was like, give me my proper etiquette. Mm -hmm. If Biggie was out here on the West Coast, he was in the studio with me and we homeboys and he got shot. No, I wouldn't tell him who did it, but he would want, I wouldn't go ride on niggas who did it, but he want to know who did it. Mm -hmm. And I'd be like, look, man, these niggas from Watts did it. Wound, this is why they want to talk to you. When, when, when. That's how I do it. Just like when the niggas from the 60s wanted to get a trench. I went to them personally and talked to them. Mm -hmm. I do it by the rules of etiquette. So I got shot. I'm like, yo, what happened? Come see me in jail. Biggie all in the air to my year park is my homeboy wound, but not see me. My yeah, homeboy Stretch time. is going to Biggie's concerts. Mm -hmm. Niggas is like abandoning me. Mm -hmm. But all in the air and on TV, they like, yeah, pop, rest, you know, keep the struggle on. I was like, yo, I'm starting to turn into like Slick Rick. Mm -hmm. Niggas is just gonna act like I'm gonna just be in jail and they gonna give me shout outs and try to take my position. Mm -hmm. And if you watch, that's what Biggie did. I told you know, him that I trained, he was supposed to be, he was supposed to be thug life. Mm -hmm. All while he was coming up, I used to let him come on stage with me, he was screaming thug life. Hey, cause I he was like, I hate Canadian. Brooklyn, I hate me, yeah. I don't, I'm out with them niggas puppy cheating me. Woo -woo -woo -woo. All of a sudden he blew up and he wasn't saying thug life. Mm -hmm. So I started getting mad and I was seeing the niggas place, he was hugging me, yo Pac, yo thank you, he was the only nigga that woo woo woo. But he, and he told me like, about a week before I got shot, he knew the nigga that was shot me and he was like, Pop, don't hang around this nigga, you know me, you know We walked in with the nigga that shot me ended up shooting me. He's like, Pop, don't fuck with this nigga, because I knew the nigga too, he was my mm -hmm. co-defendant. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was like, what you mean? He's like, I'll talk to you about it later, and we didn't talk. Ne the next time I saw him was at the studio where I got shot. So I knew he knew what happened. Mm -hmm. So I was like, Biggie, what happened? He kept sending me messages like a bitch, you know, like, mm -hmm. I'ma come see. No, nigga, what happened? While I'm in jail, strangers is telling me, yo, you don't know? Biggie homeboy shot you. Cause they bragging, they telling they niggas in jail. Yo, we just got popped, woo, 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 woo. And my cousin was in jail in New York cause I got family out there. Mm -hmm. He sit right there while the niggas get in the car going, yo, my homeboys just jacked that nigga Tupac. So that's how I knew, shot me what happened and everything.